Okay, since I have been doing a lot of different shapes and sizes of cards, I thought I would share with you this phenomenal, phenomenal free website. It is called templatemaker.nl and it is 100% free. It is a must-have for any paper crafter. You can make envelopes, boxes with lids, parallela pipe style, shadow box, round boxes, hat boxes, cake slice boxes, 3D shapes. Make that extra thick card box. You name it, they pretty much have it here for you. And I can just keep scrolling down and down. But let's go and make an envelope. Because for the Bendy card, the envelope lays flat. Now we need to go into more options. Click on inches and now what size you'd like your card. We're doing the six by six and that's the only thing we're going to touch. Everything else has already been done for you and we're just going to go down here and we're going to save it or click on, sorry, Cricut and click create. Now just save it to where you choose you want it. I'm just going to quickly do it to my desktop so then I can find it faster. And now I'm going to go and open up my Cricut design space and I'm going to browse after clicking upload I'm going to then click browse and go and scoot down to find my file which is right in front of my face. Click open. And there it is. What you're getting is the lines. But that's fine. Don't worry. Just click continue. Now let's click it and upload. And it's going to upload to your design space mat. And there it is. Don't worry that you can see through it because Cricut's just going to follow the lines. And as long as you've got paper, it's going to come out cut in the right shape. I promise. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to go and be selecting everything and the easiest thing to do is just to ungroup and keep ungrouping until it's all done. Now that I can get the individual lines I'm going to click on the ones that I know are going to be score lines and I'm going to change them from a basic cut to a score. So remember for this envelope you'll be doing this four times. Now that I've done that I'm selecting all and go down here and select attach. No, that's it. You can go and click make it. 
and there you go. It's going to make it, it's going to cut out the solid lines and score the inside lines. So now that we've done a basic envelope, let's go back in and try something else. I'm just going to go back to the main website because it'll be easier. I think I'm going to, do I want to do a lid? You know what, I think I'm going to do the shadow box. But I'm going to do it a fair size. So I'll click more options. and push your inches and I want to make this so it's going to fit something that is six inches long by four inches wide so let me just change the length here and the width and I'm not going to touch anything else the height uh, maybe the height I'll change and change it to two inches nothing else is going to be touched and I'm just going to go down and find where it says required and click Cricut and then click create find where I want to save it this time I'm going to save it so I have it for when I make this video and click save now I gotta go over to my Cricut Design Space. And click Upload. Upload an image. Browse. And go find that folder or file that you just saved to your computer. And mine is right here. Open. There it is. You don't need to do anything. Just go down here and click upload or whatever that says. And now just click the image and bring it on to your design space mat. Now once there, we're going to have to make some changes. You're going to need to make some score lines. Now the easiest way to do this instead of going through every one of these lines is just to select everything and ungroup. Select everything, ungroup and keep doing that until you can click the individual lines just be careful not to readjust the size and if you do click the back button to fix that problem so now we're just going to see now we can do each individual line so we're going to click on the ones that we know are going to be scores and change them to a score line. So let me just quickly do that with all of these. Okay, so once you have all of the spots switched that you need to switch, 
you are going to go up to the top and click select all and then down here click attach now go ahead and make it now remember this is a large project you're going to need your large size cut mat and also Cricut sells large size cardstock to fit that cut mat which is awesome so that's what I will be using um, I'm going to go and cut this and then we will be back to put the two of these together okay I'm just releasing, as you can see, a very old, old mat, and it works still. So I'm just going to hang it back up so it's out of my way. And I've got Cricut's massive size cardstock here because we made this a big one it's awesome that Cricut has cardstock to fit the large mats and once again just fold on all the score lines don't forget to go over them because you want to make sure your container is going to look and be optimum if you have any pieces that didn't quite cut like this little bit well it cut it just didn't come out just take your scissors and clean it up Stupid, stupid sticky tape everywhere. Okay, maybe throw that right on the crease line where it belongs. As you can see, I got a little bit of paper right there. And one last. Now we're going to start putting it together. So this will be the top. This is the sides. This will be the front. So I'm just going to start adding, and I'm just going to use glue. down or anything so the glue is not quite in place and of course I'm going to use some clothes pins and that to help hold things together and I'm just going to slide the tabs behind lining them up and then go ahead and clamp it with something that will reach line it right up and just give it a quick clamp it should hold already or press make sure you give it a good push down. And you're going to do the same for the other side. This is simple. Of 
going to want to clip off that small piece of paper. And there you go. That quick and simple and easy. You got yourself a box. Oops, pushed it down just a little too far. Doesn't to put things in properly. I'm just going to take a little bit of white glue, just a little bit. I'm just going to run a little bit down there. A little bit up here. Not too much because I don't want it spitting out. And then I'm just going to give it a rub down. Rubbing any white glue off. Let me have gotten inside. When that dries, You'll then be able to place, you know, let's just use some clothespins while we're sitting here. And when you dried, you'll be able to then Mama. slide your card right in, like so. So yeah, it's a great program. Yeah. Um, check it out guys. You can make all different sizes and shapes of things. So until next time guys, take care.